Hey everybody, this is Keith Baker from Dusty Attic Studio, and I'm going to do a brief tutorial here uh, about the Cambridge Mixing Secrets and also how to download uh, the multi-tracks uh, stems and uh, import them into uh, Studio One so we can get them ready to mix. First thing you're going to want to do is uh, open up your browser and go to the Mixing Secrets website. Uh, since this is on YouTube, uh, down below I'll have a link so you uh, know where to go. Uh, Mixing Secrets is a place where you can get all kinds of multi-tracks, uh, lots of different songs. As you can see here, they're all lined up, all kinds of genres. And you're going to go through and there's little, uh, little players here so you can listen to it and make sure it's something that you want. Uh, but because today um, I'm doing this tutorial for beginners, um, first-time users of Studio One or engineering for that matter, and so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here and we're going to go to where it says suggested multi-tracks for newbies. I'll click on that. The songs in here are usually, uh, you know, about 12, 15, maybe 20 tracks. Uh, there's some in here with just a couple of tracks, like guitars, so you can pra practice on mixing guitars. Um, but I got one in particular that we're going to use. Uh, it's uh, by a band called um, Amplifiers. Uh, sorry, Angels and Amplifiers. Uh, it's a great song. And uh, the video after this, we're going to we're going to mix this. We're going to mix that song, but I just want to show you how to get them into Studio One. So I'm going to scroll down here until I find it here. And here it is, Angels and Amplifiers. The song's called I'm All Right. And what you want to do is you want to go to where it says Full Multitrack. Over here, where it says 285 megabytes, uh, you're going to download that. Uh, this other one up here, Edited. It's uh, it's like one minute of the song if you don't want to, you know, sit there and mix a whole three, five, ten minute song, however long it is. I think this particular song is, is only about three minutes long. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to click here and then you're going to save to wherever you want to save it at. I always save it right to the desktop. And just to speed up this video, I'm going to cancel here. Um, I've actually already downloaded it, and it's sitting on my desktop right here. And what I'm going to do is it comes in in a zip folder. So we're going to open it up, and then inside the zip folder is the, is the other folder. Let's, let's just extract that, extract that out real quick. I'm just going to drag it over to the desktop, and it's coming. Okay, that's all taken care of. Now the zip folder, you can just throw that in the trash bin. Uh, I'm going to open this up real quick. And there are your tracks. These are your stems. Uh, it also comes with a README file. Uh, gives you information about the song. Um, most importantly, the tempo. It's very important that you set the tempo in Studio One. Uh, this is 96 uh, BPMs, beats per minute. Let me close that. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put this folder someplace. Um, you can put it anywhere on your uh, computer, uh, even on some um, uh, backup drives or external drives, I should say. Um, for now, I have a place. I'm going to open up my computer. I'm going to go to my documents. I'm going to go to Studio One. I created a folder in here called Outside Music, and you open it up, and you see a bunch of stuff in here that are not stuff that I recorded. This is either stems that I got from clients or stuff that I gotten from uh, Mixing Secrets, uh, and then I was just going to drag this in there and drop it. Uh, I'm not going to do that because it's already there. So. Let's go ahead and close that up. And now that we got that taken care of, you're going to open up your Studio One. You're going to create a song. Uh, you're going to name it up here. Uh, in this case, you'd name it 
um, I'm All Right by uh, Angels and Amplifiers. And uh, we're, not, we're just going to start with an empty song. Uh, I'm going to leave everything here default at the moment. And then you just hit OK. I'm going to cancel this out because I already have it up. And this is what it's going to look like. Uh, minus this right here because that is the vocal mic I'm talking on right now. I need that or you wouldn't be able to hear me. Anyway, so you're in a blank page at Studio One, and uh, what you want to do is you want to go up here to the top. You get your instruments, effects, loops, files, all this stuff here, and you want to go to files. Um, that's basically like your Windows Explorer. I forget what it's called on Mac. Uh, I'm not a Mac guy, so um, anyway, it's uh, here's your desktop, and here's all your stuff here. You're gonna uh, you're gonna go to your documents. If you're not already there, go to My Documents, because we're going right where we put those. Uh, then we're going to go to Studio One, and then I'm going to look for that outside music, is where I put it. You can put it wherever you want. Um, it's real important that wherever you put it, you're going to have to leave it there, because Studio One is always going to look for it in that spot. Uh, if you move it... Um, and you open the song, it's going to say oh, the files are missing. It does give you an option there to search for them or, or to look at a different folder uh, wherever you put them, and then uh, you point it in the right direction, and it'll grab them. But for now, I'm going to go to my outside music, and then right at the top is that folder I put in there, Angels and Amplifiers. I'm all right, full. I'm going to open that folder, and there's all the tracks right there so what i'm gonna do is a uh, click on the top one then i'm gonna hit shift just like in uh just like you do in windows i'm gonna hit shift and then i'm going to click on the last one that highlights all your stems and then we're going to do something really cool here we're just gonna we don't have to make any tracks we don't have to uh, uh, create anything what i'm gonna do is just grab the top one i'm just going to slide it over here right into place. You would normally put it at the top, but I need that track for my vocals here. And once you release it, it creates all the tracks itself. Let me hit F3 on my keyboard so you can see them all. And there they are. And uh, uh, there's only one more thing that you really have to do. Um, let's go ahead and you can get out of this if you want. You don't have to have that. And I go back to effects because that's where all your plugins are. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to set that tempo. Very important. What you do is you come down here at the bottom where it says tempo. And uh, if you remember right, it was 96. We set it 96. And then we just hit enter. And this song is ready to mix. Um, Again, I'm going to put the link to Mixing Secrets at the bottom here on YouTube so you can find it. Uh, I'll also do a direct link to this particular song because after this video, I have another video where we're going to take up where we left off here and we're going to mix this thing. I'll also put a link to that too. And that's it. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and I hope to see you guys soon.